Welcome to Chemistry Tutorial 360. <clears throat> Today we are going to draw the Lewis dose structure for carbon tetrachloride. Okay, to find out the Lewis dose structure for carbon tetrachloride, at first we have to find out the valence electron of carbon and chlorine, right? Okay, look at here, the atomic number of carbon is 6. So if you do the electronic configuration of carbon, then you will get this. Now we have to find out the valence electrons from valence shell. You know that valence shell is the outermost shell. That is uh, the highest value of principal quantum number, number uh, indicates the valence shell. And the electrons in valence shell are called valence electrons. Here the highest value of principal quantum number n equal to 2. For n equal to 2 we have 2s2p that is we have 2 plus 2 that is 4 valence electron for uh, carbon right 4 valence electron for carbon we have uh, we have another way to find out the valence electron of carbon look at here the group number tells us the number of valence electron you know that carbon is the element of group 4a so if you delete the a, the a then you will get 4 and or carbon is a element of group 14 so if you de uh, delete the first digit then you will get 4 so the valence electron of carbon is 4 now we have to find out the valence electron of chlorine look at here this is the electronic configuration of chlorine as you know that uh, the atomic number of chlorine is 17 so look at here here the highest value of principal quantum number equal to 3 so for n equal to 3 we have 3s3p that is 2 plus 5 so the valence electron of uh, chlorine is 7 right 2 plus 5 7 valence electron for chlorine so now we have to uh, count the total number of valence electron in carbon tetrachloride you know that each carbon has four valence electron and each chlorine has uh, seven valence electron but we have here four chlorine atoms so if i multiply this then i'll get so if i multiply seven times four then i'll get 28 so basically in carbon tetrachloride we have uh, 28 plus uh, 4 that is 32 valence electron right so in the third step what will i do i will find the central look at here i will find the central atom in carbon tetrachloride R look at here central atom is the is that kind of atom that is single or that has lower electronegativity so here carbon is single and it has uh, lower electronegativity than chlorine so carbon is the central atom so in the fourth step what i'll do i will connect connect central atom with outer atom here chlorine is outer atom so i will connect central atom with outer atom right look at here every single bond every single bond indicate two valence electron so we can we can draw this structure or this structure look at here right this structure or this structure so now look at here we have used here two four six eight valence electron but in carbon tetrachloride we have 32 so we have totally we have 32 but here we have used just 8 so we have so we have 24 left right so we have 24 valency electron so now we'll use these 24 valency electrons to satisfy the octet for outer atom first then central atom if need so look at here fifth step right look at here 
this chlorine has uh, two valence electron this has two this has two this has two so to complete the octet we need to uh, we need to give more six valence electron now this chlorine has eight valence electron two four six eight right so let me use same logic okay so now we have used 6 6 12 12 uh, 18 18 6 that is uh, 24 right so we have used all the valence electrons so we have nothing left right look at here the outer atom is uh, has satisfied for it, it its octet and the central atom carbon also has eight electron two four six eight right so carbon has octet so this is the Lewis dot structure for carbon tetrachloride now we have to find out the uh, we have to find out the uh, formal charge for carbon and chlorine so look at this formula formal charge equal to valence electron minus dots minus line so look at here now we'll use this formula look at here valence electron minus well, formal charge equal to valence electron minus dot minus line so for this chlorine look at here for this chlorine the valence electron is seven from electronic configuration minus dot attached to this chlorine is six minus line attached to this chlorine is one so basically we are getting zero so the formal charge for this chlorine is zero since every chlorine is similar so all the chlorine will have zero formal charge now we have to find out the uh, formal charge for carbon right so what will i do so this carbon has the valence electron for this carbon is six dots attached to carbon is zero and minus line attached to carbon is four right so you are getting here sorry this carbon has four valence electron you know it very well four the dot attached to carbon is zero minus line attached to carbon is four so basically you are getting zero that is the formal charge of this carbon is also zero so carbon tetrachloride is a neutral molecule look at here we can use this formula formal charge equal to valence electron minus unbond unbonded electrons that is dots minus bonded electron divided by two so let me use this formula for find out the uh, formal charge so let me find out the formal charge for chlorine first so chlorine this chlorine right so valence electron of this chlorine is seven minus unbonded electrons for this chlorine is six look at here we have here six dots unbonded electron minus bonded electron divided two so here we are getting two bonded electron divided by two so basically we are getting here seven minus six minus one so we are getting here zero so the formal charge of this chlorine is zero so every chlorine the formal charge of every chlorine will be zero now we have to find out the the formal charge for carbon right for carbon look at here the valence electron of carbon is 4 minus unbonded electron is 0 minus bonded electron for this carbon is 2 4 6 8 8 divided by 2 so basically you are getting here 4 0 so the formal charge for this carbon is 0 so this is the Lewis structure for carbon tetrachloride I I will I have a blog post in the description box of this video you can read that blog post to get uh, more ideas uh, about the about the structure of carbon tetrachloride so thank you for being this video be well